standing in the gallery, as you can see, and I have spent many long days and nights here, um, surrounded by your beautiful work, and I feel extremely lucky that you have trusted me with your artwork, um, things that are so personal to you. Um, I feel really fortunate to have met you, um, because I know all the people here who come in every day are so touched and moved by your work. It means so much for people in completely different situations that you are to hear and see and relate to your experiences. Um, I'm blown away every day I come in here. I learn something new about you and about your art and what it means. and in this space you guys have all come together to produce something absolutely amazing i have people come in here every day saying yeah it's about art but it's about so much more yeah. oh okay oh so you're watching you, you know what's happening okay great yes
<laughs> Thank you. He'll love it. He'll love it. Thank you very much. Take care. It makes my eyes burn half the time. I'm swimming. Oh, you open your eyes.
I did not expect this tonight. Um, walking by, we were just truly captivated reading all of the, the, the poems and all of the writing and looking at all of this truly remarkable artwork and um, it just completely and totally moved by it and moved by not only the talent but the hope and art is truly healing and it's evident and clear that that doesn't know any borders and I'm really glad that we stopped and saw the show tonight I'm really glad for you know what this this um, what these people are doing because it's it's extremely important you should never be defined by the worst thing you've ever done and the fact that art is giving you know these people hope is it's moving it's remarkable so thank you
One thing that's been amazing is when people come in when I'm here and we start talking about the show, they start opening up about their experiences either with incarceration, loved ones who have been inside, and also just their feelings about um, prisons as a whole. And regardless, everyone comes in and says, how can this continue? How can I get them art supplies? It, it, it's amazing that they can make art in the first place. And um, people are so excited by seeing what you create. It's, it's awesome to see people just light up when they look at, at your painting, your drawing, your poem. It's, it's super cool.
Hi, uh, my name is John and I've just been uh, at the exhibit here and I just want to say it's incredibly moving. Uh, I loved many of the pieces, not all of them were of the same uh, emotional content for me, in particular ones where a person has been incarcerated for a long time and has discovered that art is a way to get through it. Um, I've always worked with homeless people uh, for my entire career and uh, many of those are folks who've come out of incarceration and have not been prepared or given what they need to be in the world outside after long periods of being in prison. And I just think anything that helps people become creative, find themselves and their own value in the world. And art is one way uh, to feel good about yourself and to recognize who you are. Anything like that is so valuable. And I just was incredibly moved. I think this is a great exhibit. And I think the work that you're all doing up there is hopefully as healing to you as it is moving to me. And uh, I've been looking at the exhibit today just kind of in wonder, really uh, in awe uh, of how incredible it is to be a human being and have all of these different types of experiences that we have and how amazing it is that we can all just remember beauty, remember nature, have imagination, be able to create, um, and especially seeing the, the art that is just amazing the woodwork uh this the self-taught nature of so many of you who have created incredible incredible things that are will outlive you you've already done so much because you've given people something that will outlive them um even the youngest of us those wooden pieces will be there for a very long time and then the windows out to nature i really love that and the scraps made out of brown paper bag um, just to show us that we can make art anywhere and that 
we can send messages out to the world in so many different ways. So thank you so much. You've filled me up today.
So, for instance, this painting right here is one of the What does freedom from a captivity mean? I used to think being in prison meant you were a captive. But I have come to understand that when I used to measure myself based off of my material, materialistic items and people that I have known, that's who I was. What I didn't realize was that I was captive to these perceived perception that I had of myself that I was only worth that of which I was surrounded by. I have come to understand that in captivity, after losing all that I've ever had and anybody I have ever known, I am now free. Free to be myself. Free to be able to stop being what everybody else wants me to be. Free of all the past hurts that I had ever known. Free of everything else that has ever held, has that, that has ever held me shackled to what everybody else wanted me to be. It is my prayer that through these words, it provokes thought inside an individual so that they can think to themselves that are we being who we are because they want us to be who we are? Or are we being who we are based on who we truly are? Are we being held captive by our friends? Are we being held captive by our money, by our technology? Are we being held captive by all these things that are unnecessary? Or are we truly being ourselves? So I ask that you ask yourself this question. Are you being yourself? Or are you being captive to that of which somebody else wants you to be? Thank you.
Here. Wow. This is the one where we're gonna put a special little tree in here. 